chips, early morning. Duff is manning the fat fryer. Sandra is attacking a table with an antibacterial wipe. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Our artist friend has changed his paint. I couldn't get it off this time. Want me to sort it, Mrs. K? Oh, if you can, Mr. Bosniak, that would be wonderful. I don't want to spend the whole day dealing with disappointed haberdashers. What's your budget? Threats? Menace? Strong warning? Or ultimate solution? Oh no, I just want the paint removing. You sure? I could do you a good deal. Two jobs for the price of one. No, thank you. Here you go, Mrs. K. Thank you, Mr. Deal. Yeah. So, how is everyone? Anything to report since last month? Is this the start of the meeting? Only if this is the start of the meeting, it should be minuted. <laughs> Chill out, ma'am. It's just a conversation. Uh, Gerald says that at the council, meetings don't officially start until the chair declares it. Well, then, I declare the meeting started. Hmm. Welcome, everyone. Thank you to Mr. Dio for hosting again. <laughs> no problem, Mrs. K. So, any news? Please wait. I need to take an attendance list. There's five of us. All board members present and correct, Mr. Noembe. I'm expecting a very important delivery any minute. Of course. It's so Gerald's election campaign <coughs> leaflets. I, I trust you'll all put one up in your windows. He can't do it himself. He's playing golf with the chief planning officer. But he's promised me that the Paradise Estate will be at the top of his agenda when, I mean, if he's elected to the council. <coughs> of course. Well, if there's nothing else, then... Point of order! Should each item of news have a subheading underlined under a main news heading underlined and in capitals? Or should each news item have its own main heading, capitalized and underlined, or perhaps just capitalized? Whatever thing you think is best, Mr. Noembe. No one's going to read it anyway. If a job is worth doing, it is worth doing well. But is it actually a job worth doing? Mr. Deal, yes. uh, it's just that Tegan said that Eric said that Mrs. Murtas said that the lift in Ozzy Osbourne's is broken again. It's true. I had to walk down the whole 26 floors this morning. But they did leave this. Oh, uh, throw it away. We can use it to trap down the culprit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think. Someone who smokes, that narrows it down to... Absolutely everyone on the estate. Uh, ah, but this has lipstick on it. <laughs> so most of the women then, and half the men. <laughs> I feel for you, Mr. Noembe, and the other residents, that this is a business association, not a residence group. It's not really within our limit. That's not true, Mrs. K. Every day that lifts out of order, mm. I'm down at least 30 quid. Them Flemings on the 18th floor ain't gonna walk all that way for their cotton chips. I mean, I'll give it a go. I'm pretty sure I can make the fourth floor if I put my back into it. But any higher, and uh, they'll be ordering pizza instead and I'm ordering the driver to take it up. Uh, perhaps a strongly worded epistle to the council on, on business association headed notepaper would help. I, I could get Gerald to drop it off on Friday. He's attending a business <coughs> consultancy forum in the afternoon. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Mrs. Peabody. <laughs> now, if there's nothing else, I've had a brilliant idea. Skills. 
swap networks are sweeping the nation. Neighbors coming together to help each other, forging connections, building stronger communities. So like when Mrs. P gives me some flowers for my mom and I give her a saveloy. <laughs> no. Because those are skins. I don't think it's your saveloy she wants. <laughs> you mean like that time I took Councillor Harris in my car and I took the opportunity to draw her attention to her terrible taste in shoes? Not exactly, no. It... All that time, my friend gave me an alibi, so I rewired his electricity to bypass the meter. No. Or when your van was broken, so I lent you mine. And you returned it, clean and undamaged, with a full tank of fuel and a thank you note. Did I? No! Quiet! <laughs> In a skill swap network, neighbors help each other out with skills such as gardening, dog walking, hairstyling. They help you. You help them, everyone is happier and it doesn't cost a penny. Imagine our business association at the forefront of a social revolution. <laughs> I, that was my son. <laughs> How exactly would this scheme work, Mrs. Khalid? We need some kind of database. No. My skills are my business. If people do things for free, who pays for a handyman? We need a very clear procedure, a system. There would be data protection issues. I don't trust computers. If them kids in America can hack into the penthouse... You mean the Pentagon? <laughs> Mrs. Khalid, I'm sure you have the very best of intentions, and I hate to cast doubt on another one of your wonderful if rather idealistic ideas, but one has to be practical. We're all very busy people. I'll be consumed day and night with Gerald's election campaign. We, we just don't have the time to devote to such a scheme. Really? None of you think this is a good idea? I think Gerald's flyers have arrived. And I suppose we're done here. Wait! Seriously? All those in favor of the motion to establish a skill shop workshop, please raise your hands. Those against? Those abstaining? Most undefeated. And no one has any other business. Fine. Happy trading, everyone. Meeting over, Mr. Nawandi. <laughs> It wasn't a bad idea, Mrs. Khalid. Just not properly thought through. If at first you don't succeed... Give up and binge watch Game of Thrones. Mm. No, no! Find another way. Maybe with a detailed proposal, data flow charts, an itemized budget. Mr. Nawembe, the people of the estate need our help now. Evening. And what would you like the card to say? Dear Hayley, roses are red, violets are blue. Sorry you're dumped, cos I'm shagging Sue. <laughs> <laughs> well, that will be ten pounds, please. Hang on, hang on, I'm not done. <laughs> I was going to sort you a cheap new tariff, but now I ain't. 
because you're shagging Gareth. <laughs> well, twelve pounds, please. <laughs> Thank you. Now, before you go, do take a leaflet. My Gerald needs your vote to become the next councillor. <clears throat> no way. He looks like a right smug samosa. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> so. Samosa, Mrs. Peabody? I know how much you like them. I don't know, Mrs. Khalid. If I'm going to be a councillor's wife, I need to watch my figure. <laughs> oh, well, if you don't want one, I'll just take them over. That may be just a small one. <laughs> Thank you. I also thought this might be useful for Mr. Peabody's campaign. Oh, persuasion for power. I must say, I have found it very enlightening. Begin by giving the person you're hoping to persuade a gift. <laughs> this creates a feeling of obligation and need to reciprocate. Interesting. I can see how that would be very effective. Another samosa, Mrs. Peabody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on then. <laughs> Make sure you mirror the other person's physical movements. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure what that would achieve. You're probably right. After all, Mr. Peabody is such an experienced community leader. He'll already know what works and what doesn't. Indeed. Praise someone that the person admires. Gerald is always telling the mayor what an inspiration he is. Obviously a natural leader. Which is why it's his involvement in the community that's going to be so crucial in the election. Wouldn't you see, Mrs. Peabody? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> A new community initiative would really help his campaign, don't you think? Ah, yes, without a doubt. Oh, this is a good one. Ask questions to elicit a yes response, creating a positive frame of mind. Mm. I can definitely see that working with the more ignorant, <laughs> uneducated voters. Weak minds, Mrs. Khalid, susceptible to persuasion. <laughs> Imagine his own wife spearheading a movement to help the unfortunate help themselves. A real local success story. Giving back to the very estate you grew up on. I can see the headlines now from humble florist to councillor's consort. Lady Thatcher went from Gross's daughter to Prime Minister through sheer hard work and an iron will. You'll need that if you're going to persuade the other business leaders to, to get on board. Do you think you can do that? Oh, yes. This lady is definitely not for turning. And this will be invaluable. Look, praise a leader that the person admires. And here, the best time to persuade is when a person is tired and has little energy to resist. Hmm. And this, people associate a handshake with agreement. If you shake their hand at the end of negotiations, they will feel strongly compelled to comply. <gasps> no one will be able to say no to me now. <sighs> oh, how thoughtless of me to come at the end of such a long day. <laughs> you must be exhausted. I'll leave you to close up. <laughs> I must say, it makes me so happy that you are leading our new skill swap network. I have every confidence that it will be the jewel in Mr. Peabody's campaign. Enjoy the samosas. Goodbye. <laughs> Cheapest chips, evening. Dav is serving customers. Devinda, you're on database. What do you mean, Mrs. P? Salt and vinegar? Yeah, heavy on the salt. Don't hold back. Yeah. As you know, I'm heavily involved in Gerald's election campaign. While I'm happy to lead on this skill swap initiative, I will need to get, delegate much of the actual frontline task. A skill swap? I thought we weren't doing that. Slice, chips and mushy peas, Dad. 
I'm putting you on a cod, all right? <laughs> Enough? Yeah. No. <laughs> Not doing it. Of course we're doing it. A community scheme like this is just what Gerald, I, I mean the estate, needs to boost his profile. I mean, boost morale. Get those tills ringing, which is why I'm putting you in charge of setting up the database. Keep going. Me, Mrs P. Oh no, I can't be doing with the computers. My mum does all that. Yes, Bob? A large hat up, chips and curry sauce. I'm putting you on a cod, all right? Stop! What are you trying to do? Give me an heart attack! <laughs> I'm sure my mum would love to help you, but she's up north for a couple of weeks, helping Argito with the baby. Ah, yes, the rugged north. Where is she again? The Scottish Highlands? The Lake District? Tamworth? <laughs> <laughs> Salt and vinegar? Yes, please. But this is perfect, don't you see? The usual, Mr. Webber. And um, chuck in a couple of pickled uh, onions. It's our 25th wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> right, you are. <laughs> Salt and vinegar. Yes, sir. You could be the very first skill swap. Find someone who's good with computers to show you how to do it. Lead by example. I don't know, Mrs. P. Sounds a bit complicated. What if I do it wrong? Salt and vinegar? Just salt. I have every faith in you, Devinda. Don't let me, I, I mean the business association, down. Gerald, uh, I mean the community, is depending on you. <laughs> right you are, Mrs. P. What can I get for you, love? Six corn chips, two plates and chips, three kebabs, one with salad, one with air. Three spring rolls, two onion bargees, two samosas, and a spring roll. Oh. <laughs> Post office, Ivali. Tomas is up a stepladder holding up a large portrait of the Queen. This is a list I've made of all the things universities look for in a candidate. <laughs> Here? Hiya! Uh, that's very interesting, Daddy. Uh, but I am only 14. Here? Hiya! It is never too early to start preparing for higher education. Mm, yes, Daddy, of course. Here? Hiya! <laughs> Hiya! You want it on the bloody ceiling? Don't be ridiculous! They will be just fine. I mean, <coughs> Daddy, is it okay if I go now? Um, seeing as the UCAS deadline isn't for another three years. <laughs> I've got some important homework to do. Of course. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> what was it this time, huh? Moustache. Glasses. <laughs> Moustache and glasses. Devil's Hans! Her Majesty is the head of the Church of England. These children today have no respect. Uh, she should be safe up there. If not, I can always sort them out for you. Just get on with it. Sure. What's your budget? Threat, manage, money? The painting. Get on with the painting. How can I help you, Davinda? It's a shame your Hester's had to go, because, well, the thing is, I'm going to be setting up some kind of data sheet or spread face or something for skill swap network. Ah, Mrs. Khalid spoke to you. Oh no, this is all Mrs. P. She's very concerned about the community. Problem is, I don't know the first thing about computers. Honestly, they terrify me. But Jim said that Mr. Alonso said that Noreen said that your hashtag is good with them. She is top of her class. She even writes her own apps. She is going to university. <laughs> oh, no, then uh, can't expect a 14-year-old to do uh, build a skill swap database then, can I? Wait a minute. <clears throat> yes, good. This could definitely be considered community involvement. She would be happy to help you. Ah, yeah, great. But there's the teaching too, isn't there? I'm a lost cause. Ah, yes. Leadership. Working with others. Excellent. 
I can assure you that Hester is particularly mature for her age. If anyone could teach you, she could. Sure, sure, but she wouldn't know, would she? Kids today, they just run wild, don't they? Like you said, no respect for authority. That is certainly not the case with my children. Discipline is the key to academic success. <laughs> if I told Hester to do this, she would obey me without hesitation. <laughs> yeah, that's great, but, oh, but still, it's that Shanice Brennan's party tonight, isn't it? Uh, there's no way she'd miss that. What's a help in the community compared to a flat full of music and boys and booze and eh, that, that age. There's probably drugs as well. Oh, to be young again. Eh, <laughs> 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 buddy. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to stop her having fun. My Hester is a good girl. She would rather help a neighbor than have anything to do with alcohol and... God forbid, drugs. Oh, I don't know. Once she's at university... She will be focusing on her studies. <laughs> right, yeah, of course. Well, I'll pop round after tea then for my first lesson. 8.30. Sharp. Hey, Dom, Dom. Uh, wait a minute. All right, Tomo. This skill swap thing, it could be really bad for me, you know. There's no way you can make sure it... Doesn't happen. Oh no. I could make it worth your while. Sorry, mate. It's more than my life's worth. Mrs. P really wants to help the community. Speak of the devil. Uh, Devinda, what are you doing hanging around here when there's a skill swap network to set up? <laughs> I was just talking to Fernie, Mrs. P. His daughter Hester's going to help me with the computer. Oh, marvellous. I've heard Mr. Nwembe sing her praises many times. A very good girl, by all accounts. I've seen her apps. She's definitely not a good girl. <laughs> Tom O'Hare was just telling me, though, he's a bit worried it might damage his business. Oh, nonsense. By donating your skills to the community, you will connect with potential customers and raise your profiling. Networking, Tomash. Gerald says that that's what being a successful entrepreneur is all about. Why would anyone ever pay if I'm helping them for free? Well, use your imagination. Offer them something you don't usually charge for. There must be something that you're good at that you'd be happy to do for free. You mean like sex? No! <laughs> that is not what I meant at all. It's definitely a skill. And everybody wants it. I could meet a lot of new clients. This is a reputable community scheme, not a worldwide sex web. That would be completely illegal. Not if there's no charge. And you would have to be willing to swap with anyone, even Mr. Grady and Aussie 52. I do not judge a person by how they look. Everyone is beautiful in their hearts. Age. Gender, size, it doesn't matter. If they can help me, I will gladly use my skills and experience to give them the best orgasm of their life. This is my gift to the world. <laughs> Listen to me, Devinda. You are not to include anything immoral in this scheme. Gerald, I mean, the Business Association's reputation depends on it. Okay, Mrs. P. PG it is. I'll get on it ASAP. TTFM. <laughs> Hester is leaving for the Wembley family's flat. Hi. Yeah, I'm just leaving. Where are you? I'm going. Shannon's to get changed. I've got the pills. Paul's bringing vodka. Yeah, I'm so in there. It's going to be so sick. Firewall breach later. Yeah. Oh, hi, Daddy. Where are you going? <laughs> it's not that party, is it? No, of course not. <laughs> it's more of a, a, a study group, a sleepover. Study group sleepover. A group sleepover? No, no, there's there's a group of us and we study, then we stay over at Shannon's. You will have to study on your own instead. You're needed at home this evening. Well, what for? I've done all my chores, that's mine. We need you to help Mr. Dior set up a 
skills exchange. Dad from the chippy. Mr. Dior from the business association. He needs help setting up a database. You serious? I have to cancel my plans because of some old man who thinks microchip means small portion. What's your tone, <laughs> young lady? Sorry, sir. I mean, it's just that my friends really need help with the chemistry. They will have to manage without you. Why me? Why now? It is for your UCAS form. And because that is what I have agreed with Mr. Deal, would you make a liar out of me? Eh? No, sir. Now, just give me a minute to tell my friends. You are a very good girl, Hester. You make me very proud. <laughs> Bastard shafted me. <laughs> 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 Something for his loser business group? I know, right. Don't worry. He ain't gonna get away with it. Hang on, incoming. I'll call you later. All right, Tom Ash. If it's about the party, I've already got supplies. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Sort me out for next weekend and we've got a deal. Trust me, it'll be my pleasure. There you go. Oh, you make it look so easy. I wish all my teachers at school had been like you. <laughs> Fourteen year old girls. <laughs> no, 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 I don't mean like that. Uh, uh, good explaining stuff. Yeah, well, you know, because you are in my bedroom, you know. But to create a match, you just click here and there you go. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's all online, so you can manage it from any computer. Just don't forget the password. Ah, locked away. Safe as houses. Can we do another one? Um, it's your turn. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I did it! Yay, you. Brilliant, thank you. And sorry you had to miss your sleepover. Are you sure you don't want something more than just chips in return? Uh, no, pervert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I meant like, like Coke, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you serious? My dad's right next door, though. No, <laughs> no, cola, Coca-Cola. Oh, my. Or like a jumbo sausage. <laughs> uh. I think you better leave. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Morning, Mrs. Callies. Sorry to disturb. Have you got the number of that Polish lad? Does odd jobs. Mm. Bought one of those sex swings, second hand, eBay. Me and Reenie like to keep it spicy in the bedroom. <laughs> Can't for the life of me work out how to fix the damn thing to the ceiling. No, Reenie's in a sulk and withholding conjugal favours till I get it sorted. <laughs> Tried the Business Association's new skill swap network? <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing the community together. Business and local people working hand in hand to create a real paradise here on the estate. I'm afraid to say, Mrs. Kelly, that I did try your skill swap network and I was rather disappointed. 
Oh, dear. What was the problem, if you don't mind me asking? Well, you know how my back's been giving me trouble ever since the pole dancing incident. Thought a massage might help. That lad from the chippy matched me up with a very nice lady called Mo. Said she was very happy to help me get rid of some tension. I've never had a massage before. Thought being naked was normal. Then I hand started venturing where they had no business venturing. Oh, I stopped her, of course. She was very good about it, which is more than my really would be if she found out. We had a nice cup of tea and a chat once I put my dax back on. Thing is, we weren't quite sure we were clear about what was on the table, so to speak. I think that lad must be a few chips short of a fish supper. I'm so sorry, Mr. Bunn. I'll have a word with him. Make sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I'm done. But I think I'll just give that Tom Ash a call. Mr. Dion, I need a list of everyone who's used the skill swap network. Now! Get Dealey House, Adif, flag 31. You are from the shop, isn't it? Yes, that's right. And chairperson of the Paradise Estate Business Association. I understand you recently used our skill swap network. I was just wondering how it went. No problems. <laughs> no, all good. I'm very really pleased to hear it. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> Ways, what she did was even better. Oh, I mean, anyone can have plain painted walls. <laughs> Nobody has this. Mm. He points at the wall. Taking up a whole side of his living room is a giant portrait of Arif, reclining, completely naked. Legs apart. Magnificent, no? <laughs> no, I mean, yes. Yes, um, magnificent, very striking. Thank you for your feedback. Cat Dealey House, flat 67. <laughs> you recently used the skill swap network. Can I just ask, were you happy with the results? Yes, I read. <laughs> That's good to know. Thank you for your time. Although, it wasn't exactly <laughs> what I was expecting. I really only wanted a light bulb changing. But I'm getting used to it now. Delia flicks a switch, and the kitchen is flooded in garish Disco nights. It does make doing the washing up a lot more fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> Cat Dealey House, flat 146. Oh, right. Yeah, nice idea, that. Saved me a packet. It went all in. Yeah, well, it's a treat. Wanted someone to put a party together for my Yasmin. She loved it. Agreed. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. Although it wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Think it is when I first got home. I mean, like, I was a bit surprised. I mean, you weren't quite what you do for a nine-year-old, you know. Oh. But actually, the balloons are going to come in handy for my mate's Enzo. In the corner of the room is a huge bunch of large inflatable penises. <laughs> <laughs> And once I gave the stripper some clothes to wear, she was really good with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Did cops and robbers with the handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, and if she says something like about a unicorn horn, well, my Yasmin don't know me better. <laughs> that skill swap thing you've got going. I'm afraid there may be a few teething troubles. Ah, uh, don't fret about it. Easy mistake to make. Barrister, barista, who cares? The point is, the lad that explained the job Got me a suspended sentence. 
and a cracking cup of coffee. <laughs> Sorry, what? Answer <laughs> the question. Do you think Venus is a funny? Well, if you kind of think about it, it is kind of funny, isn't it? You're or... very lucky the people on this estate are so understanding. But, sorry, Mrs. K, I have no idea what you're talking about. Show me the database. The skills database. Now! What's going on? Cat Daily 146. Get it up. What? Wanted. Organizer for adult themed swingers party. <laughs> I suppose you think that's hilarious. No, no that, that can't be right. She said it was for her Yasmin, see? Uh, balloons, entertainment, toys, it's all there. You didn't type this? No. Who else can access the database? Nobody. There's a password. I didn't tell anyone, honest. Locked away. Safe as houses. Please don't tell me it's not the window one, two, three. No. <laughs> of course not. Hester, she told me choosing something no one will be able to guess. Huh? So I told her to make it. You told her? You told Hester? Show me the last match you made. No. Yeah. Ozzy. Aussie 56 wants her flat re redecorated. Cat Daily 49 is an experienced renovator. Check the original. She's not in renovation. She's in demolition. Oh! <laughs> Vera, a strong no-nonsense woman in overalls, is running electrical cable to a large plunger-style detonator. Beside her trots Liam, a timid, intense young man. Don't you think maybe this is a little drastic? I mean, I thought maybe start by changing the doors on the fitted wardrobe. You can't do this in increments. You need to be brave and bold. Eh, never fear. Your fitted wardrobes have seen their last morning. <laughs> well, I suppose you are the expert. Uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Stop! That's it. Everything deleted. Permanently. And no more damage can be caused. No, ma'am. I actually did rather well out of it. People paying me to sort out the mess and then to do the job properly. Well, I am thoroughly ashamed and embarrassed. This could seriously have jeopardized your university application. Not to mention ruining Gerald's, I mean the business association's reputation. You're very lucky nobody was hurt. I am sorry, honest. I mean, it's a good thing you stopped me when you did, because I would have felt proper bad about that nice lady in Cat Dealey 71. Cat Dealey 71? I haven't been to Cat Dealey 71. Did anyone else? 